Welcome back guys to the Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks where we've met our first dungeon, we've reached it, and so we step inside to find what puzzles it has. On the first floor, let's take lots of lovely rupees, that's for sure, I'm already up to 109 again, that's not bad, I could buy myself some prize postcards. We need to get ourselves a key to get further this way. We've got nice nut things here, give me lovely regeneratives, well I'm wondering now what our first dungeon item is, seeing them. They usually poop out nice dungeon type items. We can't get through here. We need to hit a switch, it seems. The key's up there, though. Hmm. So, what are we exactly doing? A switch over the gap. I don't have anything to hit it with unless I hit it with this. And those are low walls, so. That worked out quite nicely. That's a little bit abstract. What is this on the map over here? Purple out! Ooh! Okay, yep, yeah, well I knew I wasn't going to walk in it, if you know what I mean. That was obvious we're not going that way. But I had to test. I had to find out for sure and it will probably drain my life or just not allow me entry whatsoever. Well, first and foremost, let's move to where enemies are. And how dare you hit me in the back? Well, I'll get myself another heart. Not a problem. I'll make a treasure chest appear. I'm guessing with a key marked on the map that this chest might not be a key. Oh, we've got to wait somewhere over there. Is it a key? No, it's a big green rupee, but it's worth 100. And that'll set us on our way to being able to afford things. So up we go to even more smoke. Does it drift around? Does it change position? I'm not so sure. Hmm... Well, we want to avoid it for now, that's obvious, but there's probably a treasure chest there. I think I can just about see it, but maybe I'll mark it on my map. It's a T for treasure, you know. I'll probably not remember what the T means now, but more enemies! Skittering ones, in fact. Not defeated, they seem to inflate then. Oh my goodness, they make miasma of doom. Well, that's no good. That's not handy, but with a big white chest appearing. Could that already be a dungeon item? We got the whirlwind. Blow into the mic to send a cyclone in the direction you're facing. What a crazy item. So we hold L and then go. Nice. With the power of my breath, I will complete puzzles. With an actual item now. Well, that's cool, but I know I want to head onwards here, but... I'm now wondering what's in the floor below us. So we get a Stalfos skull. I only need to do a shortest little blow to be able to do it, in fact. Just a little puff will send out a big gust. I'm wondering what's in that hallway. Oh, we can go over there. I'm going to check it out. Let's do one side and then... Will that clear it all? Not all of it, but again... With this. Oh, we found ourselves a switch in the end. It's a stamp stamp. You don't have a stamp book, that's for sure, but... We can stick a chest down over there. So we'll take that when we can. Ah, oh wait. Oh, you... Get out of my face! Stop making things! That's mean! Oh, we got another big green root before I trouble. I wonder, wait a second. Hello, guys! Yeah, I can still gust by just talking, so I don't even really need to do the blow. It's fine, it's fine. They don't really expect people to be live commentating while gaming after all. It's like with the Pole's voice in Phantom Hourglass that we fought. I was working, trying to work things out, but we were really actually getting it correct all along because I was talking. But still, let's keep going. Puzzle some more. Those suspiciously aligned jars are super suspicious to me. Nothing's there. But I do like the little puff. That's for sure. Wake up, guy. Oh, we actually have to play a song to wake you up, aren't we? What a crazy jig. You played the song of awakening. Give me a tip. And don't tell me about treasure chests. Yawn, that was a nice nap. 
Oh, you're searching for- Ah, oh, hidden treasure? Sorry, there aren't any hidden treasures just left around here. The evil guys, now we don't even hit them. We have to actually do something to make sure if they're a treasure chest guy or not. But I think I'll get myself a key. Oh, ah, ooh. And blow it straight over the other side. You can hear me like going, ooh, marvel and amazement. And we got a small key. Brilliant, touch a door to open it. And we can indeed, no problem. As soon as we hit the switch. Not actually hit it, Link. So with that open, the path easier to explore. I'll get myself more rupees in the respawning things, but 312, that's quite a nice amount. Let's open this. And keep moving forward with gusts of wind! Wind, go! Whee! I wonder if I could just gust people all around. That guy's gonna tell me about hidden treasure chests as well, isn't he? I like hearing the jigs. Let's hear it one more time. You played the Soul Awakening, we did indeed. Yawn, you've had a nice nap, I'm sure. But you're searching for hidden treasure. That is also it, but there are none left. Who'd have guessed? Who'd have guessed? Let's bring the enemies. I wonder. Ah! With curses all... I'm just gonna blow again there, just going to get the other one. Who'd have guessed that I had to blow away the curse before I could hit them? What a cool first item to get hold of. I guess considering it's a sequel to Phantom Hourglass that they can expand on their ideas and make even cooler ones now that they know what they're doing with the tech. Let's keep on moving. Right, where are we going? Ah, I was wondering if that would just somehow be your absolute bane then, but not so much. So we need a key to get through here, and we're on the other side of that big crevasse. I'm just going to get rid of all that stuff so I never bump into it though, I don't think I am. Lots of grass around, that's for sure. No way forward there. Just a way upwards. I was expecting more. Third floor, let's check it out and there's a switch all the way over there and I think the answer to this is pretty obvious. Take something there. A treasure chest which I'm sure will contain ourselves a key. It had to be, there was no other route to go after all. Well this is interesting, so we can pick up items and just chuck them off edges. We could technically blow monsters away off edges to defeat them instead of just slashing them, though we'd lose rupees or treasures or anything that would pop out of them. Now this looks like a bit of an arena, doesn't it? Who'd have guessed? A mini boss? It looks like it. Well, you've got some poisonous dust around you. And I'm not going to allow that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that, that was mean. And we can't hit you like that, so it's like... Oh, I've got to keep blowing to, to blow it back. That's crazy. I like it. Well, I'm not blowing hard enough, obviously. I need more of a distance. He's not giving me the... Well, it doesn't seem like that's the way I could do things. Hmm, so what am I doing here then? Let's wait for you to attack. Aha! There had to be another route, another option, so we just gotta be patient rather than attack it head on. Oh, oh! Aha, so it saw my item coming out and then cancelled the attack? That's what I've got to watch out for, it seems. But another hit on you. There's enough hits to take you down. What an ingenious little boss. It even had me at the start. Enjoyment. Let's head upwards. Right, so where are we heading now? Well, the obvious boss key is just up the corner there. But we're going to find some kind of switch by the look of it. I recognize those map markings as a door we're not getting through. So well that said, not that way. 
Ah, Zelda, tell us what it is. Look at that keyhole, Alice. I think we'll need a special key to unlock it. I never thought. We're gonna go get it, my dear. We're gonna go get it. So, I'm wondering, hmm. A blue one now? Oh, that looks bad. Or not. It's a bomb. Crazy. Well, I just wanted to blow it. I didn't know I'd be blowing it the right way, but still. We've got to reveal ourselves a path. We should have done it in like five straight lines, if you know what I mean. Let's find ourselves a switch here. And get ourselves another treasure chest. Now, is that guy going to tell us where their treasure chest is? Because we don't need it if we just picked it up. We get a dragon scale. Said this pristine scale fell from a dragon. I'm wondering what's on the far left hand side as well. Hmm. No one really knows for sure. I'm sure. Well, that might open the door. But what do you have to say? Was there a timer then? I'm a bit worried now. Please do not tell me about treasure chests. Tell me about something better. Yawn, that was a nice nap. Oh, you're such a bit. Oh, but there aren't any treasure chests. So we know we've actually treasure chested out this whole dungeon now. So that's not a bad thing. Right, you. Yeah, go down again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, I'm not sure if I need it or not. And obviously I did, but there's another one. Ah, oh. Not good, not good. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I've got to blow it part of the way, or have I got to keep blowing? Hmm, that's problematic. Well, that wasn't exactly what I wanted either, to be honest. Drop me another slug. Aha! Placing. I'm going to have to get rid of the guard there. And finally hit the switch. Thank you, slug men, even if you're coming towards me at a horrible speed. Leave me alone. Give me some hearts. Someone, somewhere. I've only got two and a half, you know. I always feel uncomfortable in Zelda's when I've only got three hearts. That big key looks like it will open the door in the center of the room. Let's take it over there. Indeed we shall, but to be honest, when I've got that, it always, three hearts, it always makes me feel like I'm closest to death. It looks like a map of this room. What are these skulls? What does this arrow mean? Hmm. Right, I've got to obviously map this. Oh no, there's not going to be something to try and get me here? I'm a bit worried about this. So if I don't go this route, will something bad happen to me? I'm worried, but let's get going. We have ourselves the route drawn, so let's follow it as much to the letter as we can. And hope that nothing bad happens. Otherwise, I'm being really silly right now, and nothing's going to go on right now, and that'd be funny. He says, not really feeling it's funny. Panic is on my side. Well, that said, we got there, but did I need to do it or not? I don't know. There's probably people at home going... <laughs> laughing away. Oh, we're safe, and so I'm going up. Give me tons of hearts, I'm sure, but we're just going to make it through to the bus door. What's this say? Of course. Step into the blue light to return to the temple entrance. And so it appears. We're wondering, who is our opponent? Well, that's a little bit too big to fight. A giant stag beetle? A rhinoceros beetle, maybe? I'm not sure. A golden one, in fact. Now, that is an opponent. That is Guffy. Stagnox! Armored beetle! 
Well, we obviously need to get round your rear end, sir. Apologies for me saying that. I need you to attack me or something. There we go. And that gives me the chance to get behind and slash you away. Oh, okay, you did attack, but you stepped forward a little bit further than I thought you would at the time. I'll take another heart. I've got to be quick on the reactions, haven't I? Okay, through. As he's blowing on his bum, dazes him. Well, we can get to work on attacking as much as we want. I was wondering what would happen if I blew in his mouth. That sounds kind of disturbing, actually. With another hit? Have we taken it down? Or has he more or less come up with another way to fight us? You know, flying is unfair, sir. So the top screen is our watch out point. Ah, bombs. Right, so we want to blow people up towards you? Hmm. That's what we want to do. So it lands directly on me, but I can get to work. So, setting them up as bombs and then checking out our direction. Oh, that one's going to blow up over time anyway. So this one's probably going to blow up before we can use it again. So let's set ourselves up some more friends. Are you coming for me? I don't know. We'll take our heart. Get to work smacking you down! You've been a bad boy. I had to take it out on your rear end, I'm afraid. But you are an enemy of the people! And what have we claimed? Not so much what we've claimed, but what we've created, or something along those lines. Is. The forest glyph started glowing. And for our battle, we claim our reward. Look at that blue light, Ollis. We can return to the temple entrance from there. Let's go back. Not after we've got this. Well, we can after we've got this, but not until we've got this. Another hard container to bring our life up to four. So with the glyph. Nicely going, let's get out of here. Get back on our train. Come on, Zelda. Should we get going on the train? We should indeed. Okay then, let's go. We are sorted. As we salute, it's time to get back on the rails.
Right then, so it's going to be a long jaunt, you could say. Get round to here, but that's where we're going, the Tower of the Spirits! Though I am incredibly wondering what's going on with weird 3D rabbit features. Hmm. He's extremely suspicious to me up there behind the rock. What's going on with this? Well, I'm sure we're going to find out much more that's happening to come in the future episodes. I'm going to end this one for now as we start our journey. We've got a long one back to the Spirit Tower. I'm wondering if we can pick up anything along the way, if anything's gone on in all our locations all around. It's questions, questions, questions. What to do next? Tune in next time on Spirit Tracks. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.